I want to tell you about the thrill of further education. And you might be thinking, yeah, really? Thrill? F-E? Isn't it a bit grey? Isn't it a bit municipal? A bit worthy? A bit neglected middle child? I'm afraid that's still... I haven't got one of those, by the way. just got one. I'm afraid that's still sometimes the image that clings to further education. And it couldn't be further from the truth. FE may still be this country's best kept secret, but it is genuinely thrilling. What could be more exciting than someone whose skills in a particular subject are zero, learning to build an engine, or heat an entire house with sustainable technology, or cook a fantastic three-course meal to master chef standard, or establishing their own business from scratch? Or finally, understanding percentages for someone who's always been really, really scared of maths. Or taking responsibility for the nurturing of a whole group of toddlers or elderly people. So FE today means vibrant modern spaces, specialist equipment, learning environments that look like businesses, highly qualified specialist staff, and a really exciting journey for each and every student. And the pictures behind me take you behind the brick walls, sometimes, yes, still grey and a bit intimidating, to see the exciting things that do happen at Leicester College. One of the reasons FE is thrilling is because of its scale. Let me just tell you a bit about how big it is. So every year, colleges in England educate and train over 3 million people. More 16 to 18 year olds choose to choose, important word, choose to study in colleges than stay at schools and in other forms of education and training. 2.2 um, million adults study and train in colleges, and about 120,000 of them are over 60. Uh, colleges provide 30% of the students aged under 19 who go into higher education through UCAS. And sorry, universities, but in general, higher education students taught in colleges are more satisfied with some aspects of their experience than their peers in universities. And employers view 17 to 18-year-old college leavers as better prepared for work than school leavers. And at Leicester College, well, we're one of the larger, not largest, but larger colleges in the country, with 26,000 learners in a year. Now, I don't have 26,000 people thronging the corridors. Uh, about 80% of those are studying part-time, in a good proportion, studying distance learning. About 5,000 are aged under 19, but the age range goes from 13. I think our oldest learner currently is about 88. And we've got 3,000 apprentices across the sub-region. 700 of our learners progress to higher education, either with us or with the universities. We've got 2,000 employer customers who use us to train their staff. And we have about 1,100 staff of our own. So we're a big business for Leicester, a big employer as well as a big educational institution, we contribute about 270 million a year to Leicester and Leicestershire's economy. That's about 1.2% of the whole economy. We're not a drain. <laughs> we're not a drain, we're a contributor. So at Leicester College, you can get a fantastic meal, you can get your hair and nails done for a fraction of what it would cost in a city salon, and you can come in for an expert adult careers advice session any time. FE is thrilling because of its variety and its diversity. It's an asset, this, not a problem. We offer a really broad range of subjects and levels. We've got about 600 courses from basic English and maths up to degree level. Some of those areas you'll be really familiar with, like construction and engineering, hair and beauty, hospitality, business and computing. But we've also got quite a few specialist areas which are unique uh, to FE, and they're pretty, pretty unique to Leicester as well, like footwear design and manufacture, artistic makeup and special event, uh, effects, sound engineering, sustainable environmental technologies, and learning for young people with profound and multiple learning difficulties. So part of the thrill is simply scale. Um, part of the thrill is about ambition. You know, it's not just about classrooms, although we do have quite a few of those. It's about people starting out on new career paths, finding their area of skill, something they may not have yet discovered. 
helping them fulfill ambitions, developing skills they need to enable them to grow personally and professionally and find work. And we retrain hundreds and hundreds of people referred through Job Centre Plus and unemployed every year. We see 300 people graduate from our higher education programmes. And again, this idea that we're not a drain. For every pound that learners spend themselves with us, they gain about £4.50 in higher future wages. There's all sorts of complicated algorithms involved in that. Um, but for every £1 invested in Leicester College, there's a £4.70 return to taxpayers. I think we're good value for money. That kind of return is quite thrilling. And expertise is a massive thrill for me, seeing that people who work in FE, despite a very challenging environment at the moment, they love it. It's a special sector to work in. We draw staff from industry, people who've worked in the sectors, know them inside out, understand what it means to be a mechanic, a sound engineer, perhaps a plumber. People who've run their own businesses. Colleges across the country run about 1,300 businesses which are open to the public, restaurants, hair and beauty salons, travel agencies, florists, theatres and nurseries. And we have, as I said, a restaurant, a food manufacturing suite, two nurseries, a theatre, hair and beauty salons, repair and tailoring service. They're all learner-run businesses. We're pleased to be able to recognise those staff and celebrate their expertise as dual professionals in their field and, most importantly, as teachers. There's a danger when people don't understand what happens in FE, that it becomes devalued, unloved, a bit neglected. We've had a quarter of our adult skills budget removed by the government as part of the, uh, as part of the overall deficit reduction programme. It is tough. And it's more important than ever before that we celebrate what we've got. We recognise and celebrate the staff who train and educate the next generation of technical professionals. And we appreciate them as important assets for Leicester in the way that we're celebrating so many of our human assets today. Well, over the 15 years since Leicester College was established as a merger of two smaller colleges, which I'm sure many people in the room will remember, about half a million people have passed successfully through the college. Some have gone on to make names for themselves, both nationally and internationally, in business, in the performing arts, across the curriculum. All have seen for themselves what a difference FE can make to them, to their families, to their lives, and to us, to the city too. That's pretty exciting. Actually, it's thrilling. Thank you.